ladies, welcome to my hot mess of a closet. It's so bad. <laughs> In my last closet clean out, I basically just took all of this and put it onto my bed and was like, okay, do I like it? Do I want to keep it? Is it a maybe? And I feel like it, it just didn't feel right. I'm not gonna lie. I was just being a lazy piece of shit because I think the default and just like, oh, I kind of just wanted to keep everything and it was so easy for me to justify it. This time it's gonna be different. I'm gonna try them on. I need to know for sure that it fits. I need to know for sure that it aligns with my current style. It's versatile so I can wear it for many different kinds of days and different outfits. My closet's organization is so out of whack. There's so many clothes everywhere, clutter. Even the last one, I color-coded everything. And for the most part, I've been sticking to that. So pat on the back. When I walk in here and try to figure out my outfits look like, you know, hot and sexy for you guys, I feel overwhelmed a lot of the times. <sighs> just thinking about it though, I'm like kind of nervous. I know I'm just gonna sweat a lot today. I'm also on my period, so I'm not feeling great. But let's go. <laughs> when you walk into our room, you basically just notice that you're in a huge closet. This whole bedroom is just full of clothes. Whenever I'm in a rush and I have to try to figure out an outfit, I get so stressed out. So I just like throw my clothes everywhere and then I just get too lazy to put them away. There's so much clothes on the floor. Like I'm just so embarrassed. I get weirdly attached and sentimental to clothes because I really link them to happy experiences. I'm like, wow, that was a time I was happy. <laughs> I definitely feel guilty about having all these great clothes that just don't get worn enough. But I feel even more guilty with the overconsumption I feel like I just get a lot of instant gratification whenever I get a new piece of clothing. I'm like, wow, like, yay. And then two minutes later, I'm like, well, yep. <laughs> I mean, the chair, I know we all have the chair. Don't even lie to me. It's not looking too bad right now, but obviously it's not looking great. So we're going to start off with that. I first started off by categorizing the clothes. I got some dresses, some pants, sweaters. And then when I hang it up, I color code it. Afterwards, I organize and put away the clothes that are on top of my dresser. Like, girl, they're supposed to be inside the dresser. Why are you putting it on top? I had tons of clothes on the floor too and Suki loves hanging out in just the clothes I feel like it's just really soft for her so most of the clothes had a lot of cat hair on it so that went straight into the wash but the clean ones I hung up A couple days later I started to get down to business but tell me why there were things on the chair again the chair oh so embarrassing. I don't think I'll ever learn my lesson. I feel so lucky and grateful to have a walk-in closet. This is my first one and I feel like I definitely took advantage of it. I was like, wow, I can fit so many clothes in here. So guess what I did? I fit so many clothes in here. You can see that the clothing rods are bent in because it's so heavy. I've gotten so good at just hiding things away in here, like out of sight, out of mind. I just close that closet door and I'm like, wow, it doesn't exist anymore. What are you talking about? And you know what? The thing that shook me to my core that really pushed me to do this closet clean out is because I can't even open my damn drawers. Like, what are you talking about? In these shorts, though, I basically just have all of my bottoms, like pants, jeans, skirts, and even just workout clothes, PJ pants, all of that good stuff. I'm going to be doing this by category and by color palette. I already, as I said before, color coded everything, so I don't want to like mess up all of my hard work, you know? First up are my light colored tank tops. Ta-da! This one is a risky one to put on first because of the high neckline, but I think it's flattering, like... Am I cute? Maybe I should change these clips because we're getting down to business, but it keeps getting caught. The fit of this is really nice. I feel really sucked in. More like a gentle hug. I feel like, like, do you see that? My boobies look kind of big. I'm actually so sad about this one because I really like this top, but the, like, do you see that? I usually wear pasty, so I feel like when I'm out and about, like, it's really a gamble because if one of these fall off, like, my whole boobies are out. <laughs> This one is a definite keep. I love the shape of it. I have this exact top in so many different colors. Here's another one. My mom actually gave this to me. She was so cute. She's like, I walked into Brandy Melville and I didn't really know what to get you, but I saw this bear and I thought it was cute. See, like even with that, like even if I didn't like this, I would feel so guilty because I'm just like so sentimental. I was like, my mom got this for me. How can I get rid of it? But don't worry, I actually love it. And I wear it a lot. I love wearing red and this is one of my favorite tops, not because it's just like really cute and hot and sexy, but the material is so nice. It's super thin. The straps are super cool too. I wear this one to death. Also these two, so I know for sure, like we cannot part. I was literally about to take off my top and then I realized that there's a huge window right here. That's why I'm wearing a bra. I don't usually wear a bra, but I know they can't see inside, but I'm scared. Danger, high voltage, bitch. <laughs> the second I saw this thrifting, I threw it into my car and I was like, you're coming home with me. This is such a different vibe from the last one, but I wanted to try to expand my style, dress a little bit more mature and just have a little bit more preppy. I really had high hopes for this, but I've had it for a few months and I still have the tag on it. So the fact that I haven't reached for it in months, 
I already knew I was gonna keep this, but I just wanted to try it on again for you guys because it's one of my favorite tops. Look at the neckline, look at the ties. It's so me. In theory, this is going to be really cute. It has a tie in the back, look, a little bow. But I think it looks really weird because like my boobs lined right here is it, it's, it's too low. But at the same time, this strip is so thin. Like where my boobs supposed to be this high? Mm, I don't like it. This one is so cute because of the flowers right here. I think it's so cool. But on just like as a top, I don't feel like super confident in it. I feel like really exposed. I don't like really, really crop tops. It's giving hot 2000s milk. Yeah, I think this top fits really well, but it just doesn't really fit my style. Hmm. Ah, this top looks so cute with the jeans I'm wearing. Guys, why do my boobs look so big? So that last round was a pretty unsuccessful declutter and I don't think that I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these ones because first off, I love wearing light colored tops because I feel like it matches with a lot of things. It's really versatile and neutral. And I also love wearing red and green, which are the next two categories. So don't worry, later I will be getting rid of a lot of stuff. Just right now, we're just not starting off strong. I feel so airy and free and I really like the necklace detailing right here. Ugh. I love tops with this kind of V like cut right here, but this is like not doing it for me and it's red like I don't even know why I don't like it It's just I think it's too backless. It's also really tricky to put on and hang up Yeah, I'm not gonna keep her my friend was shopping and she got this top It says I hate being sexy, but someone has to do it She got herself one too and she gave one to me because it's just so us I usually wear this top by tying a little knot right here. I think it's really adorable It's super airy and casual. I had such high hopes for this top because I love like the little scarf action It's all connected actually. It's green. I love Love a halter top, but this is sheer. Oh my god! When I first put it on, I was like, I can't even wear pasties with it. Like you can see the pasties. This one has to go. But it actually inspired me to get this one, which is my favorite top in the world now. It does not have sheer boobies. I don't even need to try this one on. I've had this for like three years and I have not worn it. This is me hiding right now because people keep walking past the window and I'm just nervous. It's cute, but the fact that it still has a tag on it tells me everything I need to know. It's like a towel, but the color is just, I think it's a little too loud for me. Isn't the texture of this so cool? This is not flattering at all. I don't know. I just think the print doesn't, mm, mm -mm. This is a product from when I only used to thrift in the kids section. <laughs> Sorry, Batman. I think the color is really cute, but the fabric on my body just feels like there's like a napkin that was just placed just on it. Do you hear that? It's really rough. It gets super wrinkly too. I'm kind of sad about it, but mm -mm. this neckline is so cool. This one also feels like it's a napkin just placed over my body. I really like the colors and stuff. I just think it's just too small for me. Suki is really loving this closet clean out. Look at her, so cute. Oh, and this is what's kind of going on right now. This is the donate, this is the maybe, which I'm probably gonna get rid of anyways, but I'm just so sentimental for no reason. And then this is the keep. Oh my gosh, this is so random too, but my friend came over and we made little clay things. I made Suki, oh my gosh. I, it doesn't look that great, but actually they're twins. She just lays like that. Hi, it's a twin. This vest is so cool. It's super street wear. This is never that. It's one of my favorite friends. It's so cool. But I also have this other vest right here that I'm definitely gonna keep because when I wear it, it's giving Asian to possible. Y'all, we made it through the tank top section. I'm so proud because I think that's my biggest category other than jackets. This is a visual representation of all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. This is not even including all the maybe stuff. <sighs> I'm proud. I don't know why, I'm just not a bodysuit girl. I feel like I just get a wedgie and I just don't like it. <laughs> We're moving on to t-shirts. This is the first one. We all know her, we all better love her because she is my favorite. Like if there's one day I get rid of this top, someone call the cops because that is not me. That is an imposter. Did I want to be in my cottage core, small town princess vibe with this top? Yes, but I do not like it. It does not look good on me. It doesn't match my style either. I was trying, I was trying something. Another victim from when I used to only thrift in the kids section. It was cute at the time, but just not now, not now. Come on, I think this shirt is so silly. <laughs> oh, this one's gonna hurt because I made this. It's a little Hello Kitty, but I haven't worn it since college and I graduated two years ago. 
I... What do you mean? This one is cool because of the shrink action we have going on, but I think overall as a top, it's just like not really flattering on me. It is, eh. I was backstage at Head in the Clouds. Oh my God, she's so cool, I know. But anyways, <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, but they had a booth in the back where you can get graffiti on a shirt. So I had them write hottie for my hotties right there. That's you. The color in the print is really cool, but I think just how it lays on my body just feels like, eh, like it's just not, which is crazy because this is supposed to be a large. This sweater is super cute because it's from the Calvin Klein Jenny collection. So I'm like, okay, when I put it on, I'm like, I'm so Jenny right now. Like, I'm like literally Jenny. <laughs> I love a baggy off the shoulder sweater moment. Like she's cozy, you know. Double zippers are really cool, but I think the shape of this jacket is just not flattering on me. Do you see how it just like puffs out? Ski. Funny story about this top. It's one of my favorite tops, by the way. But she's been through some shit. Okay, so I thrifted this along with the green jacket. You know what? Let me just get her. This was the culprit. It died dyed all of this white part green so i literally had to scrub it literally hand washed it to death tried to do every single thing to try to get all the green out i think i did a really good job this used to be a way brighter white though so i still kind of have some beef with this let me try it on though it's huge oh the print is so cool though but like practically you've done enough damage for jackets like this i usually either want it to be long and wide or if it's narrow i want it to be a little bit shorter but it's narrow and long so i'm just like eh. okay i know this looks so bad but it's my designated hair dyeing shirt i don't know if you guys get your hair done too but for me at least i always just wear the same shirt because if it's gonna get ruined might as well just ruin the same thing i remember the first time i didn't go into my hair point wearing this shirt and my hairstylist was like wow you own more clothes this is a super high top but Hmm, wait, is it? Okay, imagine hair up. I really like how it's asymmetrical. Let me look at it in the other mirror. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really cool. This is meh, so I think that means no. It's the way that you can tell that it's getting dark and I'm not even close to being done with just my hanging clothes. Oh. I thrifted this for like $5. I really love it because it's Von Dutch, but the back is so cool because it kind of looks like a tram stamp. It fits so well. The only thing is that, is that the hoodie does not hoodie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I used to wear this top so much, but I don't think that this is my style anymore. This is so cute and soft, but I don't know. Something about it, maybe it's too long. Maybe. We are about halfway done now with the hanging clothes. Oh, I'm so tired, but this is all my fault. I have to face the truth. For my big PJ shirts, I decided I didn't really need to try them on because it wasn't a matter if, if it fit well or if it matched my style since I always just wear it as PJs anyways. It was more so just filtering everything out because I don't need like 20 big white t-shirts. Like, come on, girl, come on. <laughs> Coming to a, I'm coming to a weird realization. I feel like when I'm just looking at it, I'm just so okay with just throwing it out. But when I try it on, I'm like, oh my God, it's on me right now. Like I can make it work. Am I being counterintuitive? I don't know, don't answer that. I just think it's fun to try on the clothes for you too. I totally forgot that I hid clothes back here. Uh, I feel like I can get rid of a lot of them because I literally forgot about it. Look at how cutie this is and it comes with a little scarf. I love it. My jackets take up most of the space in my closet, obviously, because they're really thick. I'm born and raised in SoCal, so this is so embarrassing, but literally once it hits like 65 degrees or less, I'm putting on a damn puffer. An oversized leather jacket is such a staple in your wardrobe, but the one I have just looks like weird on me. I don't really like it. When I ordered this blazer, I didn't know that it would be leopard print in the, I don't know, I just don't. I like animal print, but I'm just not loving this. Oh, did I love baby in there? <gasps> Sorry, Suki. <laughs> I locked her in there. This hoodie looks really big on the hanger, so I don't know if I just accidentally stretched it out. Ah, it's so comfortable though. I do feel like that this is a hoodie that I would only wear at home. Like I only have been wearing it at home and I don't know if that's worth it just to keep it. It's so comfortable though. As I said before, I was on my period while I was filming this. So I was feeling just super low energy. I was so sweaty. Like it was just not, it was not a good time. So you know how it is. I blasted some music. We were having good vibes. I tried on most of the things I think and filtered a ton out.
still have to do all of my dresses, but the rest is basically done. Yeah. This is kind of what we're going with right now. I'm actually really proud. It's just so much less cramped. It's also the way that this is what my closet looks like after I cleaned everything out. Like I still have way too much stuff. This is the no pile. This is the maybe pile. I'm going to say that like 75% of this is going to be gone. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these hangers. <laughs> Moving on to dresses. I know this first one is not a dress, but it's a little set. I think it's so pretty. Like, I feel like a princess. It has a kind of mermaid skirt action. Like, okay. This is like completely sheer though. So that's why I'm wearing little booty shorts under. Unless you want to wear undies and have booty out. But like, I kind of don't want to have booty out. Maybe sometimes booty out. I never had any long sleeve dresses until this one. I do like it. Like, I love the print. Like, oh my gosh, look at the little flowers. You can see it's really long. It's like not really flattering on me. Like, it's just kind of like, it's not a mini dress dress but it's not a midi dress like what are you so i did actually just buy like that iron on like hemming tape so i'm gonna do that to make it a little bit shorter just so <laughs> yeah oh my mom gave me a lot of her old al yais i wore this one for lunar new year it's so cute right like i tried so many on i love it this is my only all red dress i think it hmm i feel like it kind of cuts like really weirdly on my body like I don't know. Not loving this either. I just don't think I would wear this enough for it to make sense. Like, I feel like my mom would like this, actually. In the spring and summertime, I wear this dress to death. I just feel like a little fairy. I love the yellow color. The cut and silhouette, I feel like, flatters my body really, really nicely. But it doesn't feel, like, constricting or anything. Like, I just feel so comfortable. So I literally got it in another print, too. Like, this is literally the exact same dress. Just, like definitely keeping both of these this is my go-to dress to be fancy i think it is so pretty like the neckline right here i think the print is super cute the bows yes sometimes i forget that i'm short and models online have different proportions than me because this dress i think is super cute but just like i'm wearing shorts right now bro if i wasn't wearing shorts my whole ass crack would be out it's just the back is too long like i just need to be taller i think for this dress it has ties right here which you would think that would be able to adjust it but it, it doesn't and also the type of fabric on this like you can see so much of Suki's hair. Nah. So I have a dilemma. I really like this dress. It's really simple. It has a straight neckline. I think the shape looks really nice. Super soft. Take a mental note of this because I also have this dress which I would say is the same length. This one is shiny and it has the backless, a little bit of a scandalous slit. This one's definitely more fancier, but I feel like I like it more. Like I don't need two basically the same dress. The flowers and the cutout is so cool. I got this to wear for my birthday last year because again, she's super princess. I don't know. I am such a Leo. I'm like, I just want to be a princess. Come on. I just do not think that this shade of orange really suits me. It gets to a weird length too because it rides up. Mm. Bro, I will not beat the Cassie accusations whenever I wear this dress, but just let me live. I think it's cute. I got this because I had a really important speech in high school and I needed to dress like adult. Tell me why I was like this <laughs> and why do I still have this actually? I got this jumpsuit because I wanted to feel like a spy. Oh no. <laughs> There's a little bit of cleavage action like... <laughs> but the only thing right here you can see that there's like a lot of wrinkles and stuff because the torso area is just a little bit too long for my body. It's really comfortable though. Oh, thank you. Like my dress? Bam, it's a romper. Yeah, I really, really like the silhouette. I feel like it looks super flattering on. I like a little frilly bottom like this. So sad because I love this flower detailing right here. It's so stunning. But look, what is this? Excuse me, what is this? I love this part though. Online, this dress looks super dope, but on me, I feel like it's so ill-fitting. I kind of wish that these were bell sleeves instead. I love the idea of the exposed arm. That's why I wanted it, but... I don't think so. When you guys put on mini dresses, do you go in feet first and pull it up or do you go over your head? For me, I always do it through my feet and sometimes it's a little bit tight going over my booty. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I have a dump truck or whatever, but uh, no. Anyways, I really love this dress. I love a baby doll. Silhouette, it's so cute. I have been trying to get this dress to work for like a year now, but it just does not fit that well. I just love the sleeve so much. It's giving pirate, but in a good way. <laughs> I'm sad. and lots of sweat later my hanging clothes are finally done and now it is time for dun dun the floor oh i started off by organizing my shoes i have some shoes on the floor right here so i kind of just tidied it up put them in their little place 
I do this thing where I love to hide boxes with my clothes. I'm like, wow, no one can see it. Girl, everyone can see it. So I just sorted and emptied those out. Moved on to my shoe rack over here. And the little drawer thing to the right of it is just all of my like undies, bras, socks. So I just threw away a lot of my old socks. Like they're just getting a little gross, you know? Like we have to just keep cycling through. The basket on top was a mess too. So I just organized that. Hotties, the closet is done. <laughs> dressers a lot because there's just so much stuff in here but right here are all of my jeans I have pants and then skirts and workout clothes and then my PJ stuff right here I do think that these jeans fit really nicely but I'm just not a mom jeans girl anymore like I like baggy jeans yeah I feel like these are definitely more my speed I like the low rise the boot cut like I think it fits really well definitely gonna need to hem these I really like the look of white jeans, but I'm just so scared of wearing white, like period. Like what, like especially if I have my period. Like what if it just shows up one day? What if I sit on something nasty? But I think this is so cool because of the detailing right here. I'm just so scared of wearing them. I just got these, but these are the coolest jeans ever. They have so much cool detailing on it. Look at all of this. I feel like the wash is really fun too. It kind of has a green tint to it. mermaid with this skirt like do you see how it's reflective i just love maxi skirts and maxi dresses and the color green so she's perfect parachute pants are probably the best invention ever it's so comfortable of course these are green like come on you guys know me already these are literally so perfect and comfortable that martin got his own pair so now we have matching pants but these are great. I already had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do with the rest of my skirts and pants and my head. So I just quickly sorted through those. Okay, are you team rolling up your pants or jeans or do you like to fold them? I thought that rolling is supposed to help save space and so you can see like most of the jean anyways, but I don't know, it just does not look that good and I don't even know if it saved that much space. I'm literally going to a party after this, so I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm so proud. I did a closet clean out. <laughs> oh. Y'all, we're finally done. Happy dance, happy dance. I can finally open my drawers with ease. This is so good. <laughs> Hello! It's day three of this closet clean out and I think I'm finally finished. As you can see, it was very successful. I'm gonna sort through things to see if my mom or my sister will want them and then put everything else into bins so I can donate them. I don't even think I told you why I'm doing this closet clean out. We're moving! I'm so excited. Surprise! <laughs> and best believe it was a surprise for us too. I'm so excited for the moving vlogs. I'm gonna be having a moving diary series again. It's obviously gonna be a new space, so I'm so excited to redecorate. I mean, we literally just redecorated our whole place like a a couple weeks ago and then shortly after we found out that we should probably move out so yeah <laughs> how are you guys doing though i just finished watching the new avatar the last airbender live action and y'all know that is my number one comfort show i feel like i talk about it a lot and like i have my thoughts about it I, like how do you feel like i think that the story was reinvented which it probably should be just because like what's the point of making a word for word remake of the other show but yeah, I still have some thoughts about it. I don't know, I don't know. I'm determined to fit as much as I can in each bag. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This took a while, but honestly very satisfying. If you're watching right now, comment hmm, the little hamper emoji. I think that's so cute. I'm so excited that this is the first episode for my moving diaries. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!
que es que se equivoca 